For this tutorial, you will need your yarn of choice. I highly recommend and use Premier Parfait Chunky. The colors I used were Lagoon for the cap and Cream for the head, and then a little 15 inch piece of extra cream that we're going to use for the head spots on top of this cap. You'll also need your hook. I used a 5 millimeter H size hook, a darning needle, a stitch marker, a pair of scissors. I used 8 millimeter safety eyes for mine, and a handful or two of polyfill stuffing or whatever stuffing you normally use. So let's begin. We're going to start with the magic circle, wrap it around these two fingers, making an X on the top, go underneath, grab the top yarn, pull through, and chain one. Now we're going to do six single crochet in this magic circle, and I like to yarn under, so I'll go in, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two loops. So there's our first single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, okay, now we'll pull our ring closed. So you should have six single crochet and that makes up round one. Now going into round two, we're going to increase in each stitch around. So go into that first stitch here, yarn under, yarn over, and go ahead and mark that. Now to increase, we're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch that we did that first single crochet. So here's our second single crochet in the same stitch. So there's your first increase. Now repeat that all the way around until you have 12 stitches at the end. Okay, you should have 12 single crochet around this round. Moving on to round three, remove your stitch marker and make one single crochet in that first stitch there. Mark it. On the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. And then after that, we're going to repeat one single crochet, increase all the way around. So let's do our increase. One single crochet, increase. And keep doing that all the way around until you have 18 um, single crochet at the end. Okay, now you should have 18 single crochet. You can stop and count if you need to. And we'll move on to round four. In round four, you're just gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around. So you'll have a total of 18 single crochet at the end. So for round five, 
We're going to go ahead and do one single crochet in that first stitch. And mark it. In the next stitch, we're going to increase. So place two single crochet in that next stitch. Now from here on out, we're going to do two single crochet and then an increase all the way around until you get to the end and you'll just place one single crochet in the end. So here's the first single crochet, the second one, and then an increase. So keep repeating that all the way around. You'll have 24 single crochet when you're done. So we've done that last increase. We have one stitch left over. We'll just place one single crochet in that stitch. All right, so for rounds six and seven, we'll go ahead and place one single crochet in each stitch around. So in each round, you'll have 24 stitches when you get done with it. So wait to do that last single crochet for just a second. Pull our yarn so it doesn't get pulled out. Now we're going to take our 15 inch piece of extra white yarn that we cut off. And we're going to take our darning needle. You can also pause for a second and clip off that um, magic circle tail too. Okay, so with that wider cream yarn, just go into any stitch you like. If you are a planner and you prefer, um, you can go ahead with bobby pins or stitch markers or sewing pins and mark out, kind of map where you want those spots to be. I like to just kind of place them randomly. So pick a stitch and go in right into that gap there, leaving a little tail so that we can knot it at the end. And we're just going to go over one stitch. We're going to go over it two times. So there's one and two, like so. And then pick another spot to go out of. 
I'll go one stitch there just a couple times and keep doing that all the way around until you have all the spots that you're happy with and it's looking the way that you want it to. Make sure that you're not pulling too tight. You don't want to pinch the cap. Okay, when you've got it where you want it, go ahead and pull that last one. And then take those two ends and knot them together. And trim that off. Okay. Now we're going to continue and we're going to be doing a color change in this last stitch. So get your yarn back on your hook. Okay, go into that last stitch. We're going to go in, yarn under, pull through, and then drop the yarn that you're working with. Now grab your cream color yarn, place it on your hook, and pull it through those two stitches, or those two loops. And if you want, you can go ahead and just trim off the cap color. And we'll begin round eight. So in round eight, we're, we'll only be working in the back loops of this round, and we will be doing some decreases. So in the first back loop, go ahead and do a single crochet. Now for a decrease, we're going to decrease in these next two back loops. So you can see here's the front loop and the back loop. It's just like an invisible decrease in the normal sense that it just goes in the two and then you pull up a loop. But instead of the front loops that we normally invisible decrease in, we're going to be doing it in the back loops. So go into this first one and then just curve and go right into the second back loop. Grab your yarn and pull through those two loops. It can be a little bit awkward. If you find that it's just too awkward and you really just need to do regular decreases this round, that's totally fine. Um, so let's go and then going forward, we're just going to be doing two single crochets and a decrease all the way around in all the back loops. So here's one single crochet. Two and a decrease. One, two, and a decrease. Keep repeating that around until you get to the last stitch and then you're just going to do one single crochet in that back loop. So here's one, two, decrease, Okay. 
Okay, so we're at the end here. You can see we have one stitch left. So go into that back loop and just do one single crochet. In round nine, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So we'll start with the first one. And then after I make this first one, I usually like to go in to these ends right here from our color change, and I like to tie them together and cut them off. Okay, so just go ahead and do one single crochet in each stitch around and you'll have 18 stitches when you're all done. We're going to go ahead and do one single crochet, then one decrease, and repeat that all the way around until you have 12 single crochet left over. So here's our first one. Now we'll be doing our regular invisible decrease, so just go into those front loops, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So one. And a decrease and keep repeating that all the way around. So now we're going to move on to round 11 and we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around so you'll have 12 single crochet when you're finished. Okay, round 12, we're going to decrease all the way around. So in each of these two, just do a decrease and then you'll have six single crochet left over. So here's our first decrease. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Now in round 13, we will be going into the front loops only and increasing in each of those front loops. So going into the first front loop, There's one and two in that first front loop and keep repeating that in all the front loops until you have 12 single crochet.
Okay, for the next three rounds, rounds 14 to 16, you're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch, stitch, ugh. <laughs> one single crochet in each stitch around, and you'll have 12 single crochet when you're done. Okay, just finishing up round 16, let's go ahead and pause for a second. We're going to add our safety eyes and begin stuffing. I also wanted to note that if you are using a larger weight yarn, like a Bernat blanket or any anything larger than that, you might find that this hole on the inside is too big. So if you have a scrap piece of this cream yarn, go ahead and take that and you can just kind of lightly Gently sew a, um, a strand or two over that hole to make sure that no stuffing gets through. Because then you can test your pop and make sure that it's popping. We just want to make sure that this doesn't get stuffed, otherwise it won't pop. Okay, so grab your safety eyes. I'm using 8 millimeter, And then I like to put them, I like to make sure that they're in the front so that this color changes in the back. And then go right above, here's round 16, you want to go between 16 and 15, so right in a gap in between those two rounds. Right. Now you have one in, you're going to count there will be two little spaces in between each eye. So one, two, go into that third space between round 16 and 15. Okay. So now that you have your safety eyes in there, we're going to go ahead and stuff just this head only and just start to stuff it. Don't stuff it all the way yet. So take a little bit of your stuffing. And pinch right here to make sure that it's not going in the cap. Okay, now for the last round, round uh, 17, we are just going to decrease all the way around until you have six single crochet left.
once that's done, you can go ahead and trim your yarn, leaving just a little tail for sewing. And pull that right out. Okay, I like to take my stitch marker out and finish stuffing the rest of it. If your hole is a little bit small and you're having trouble getting your finger in there, you can use the back of your hook to get the stuffing in. And you want to stuff it until his head is nice and firm, but you want to make sure that it just doesn't come through to that cap. Once you get your head stuffed as much as you want it, do a little pop test and go ahead and take your darning needle and that long tail and weave the tail on. Now you're going to go in through each front loop and do a whip stitch around to close the hole. Okay, once that's done, you'll go ahead and put your yarn, weave it into the little head here. So that's nice and secure. Remove your darning needle and grab your scissors. Trim that little piece off. Pop test again, make sure he's nice and round on the bottom. And there you go. If his cap is a little tight, just go through and kind of stretch it out. I also like to add keychains to the top, so I'll link some tutorials and keychains as well. Um, the Itty Bitty Mushy Pop is also available as a PDF pattern for sale in my Etsy shop if you prefer reading patterns. Um, he's also available in the Itty, Mini, Itty Bitty Mini Pop bundle along with a Jelly Pop and Flower Pop and I have several other popping and fidget patterns as well. This is actually my first YouTube tutorial ever, so if you enjoyed making this and you wanna make more tutorials, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Happy crocheting, friends.